All right, Miss Megan. So what was it like for you before you started the confident athlete and working on your mindset? I felt like I didn't know what I was doing. Like <laughs> I had like heard things like bits and pieces. And so, but like, I didn't really like have a set, like list of things that I could use to help me uh, mm -hmm. in that area. And so I just like kind of tried my best, I guess. And I was like getting halfway there, but never really getting where I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. um, and so like kind of learning what tools to actually use and like how to use them properly uh, was really helpful with kind of, yeah, dealing with my mental a really great way of like sharing that I've actually I don't think I've ever heard a girl talk about like I was like getting halfway like I was I've gotten little pieces but I just needed to like see the full the full picture the full puzzle put all those pieces together yeah. um, so what kind of changes have you experienced um since working on your confidence in the confident athlete um I like um like during games, like when I make mistakes, like I find that it takes less and less time for me to like get over them. Mm -hmm. And like, I can like almost fake it, I guess, like, like brush it off super quickly and like cheer my teammates on super quickly. Mm -hmm. um, I've been noticing that a lot lately and actually this past weekend too, because I did not do very well on Saturday. <laughs> Uh, but like Sunday, I did amazing. I think I did great. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's just the fact that you just said I did amazing on Sunday. Like that's huge. Like most girls, right? When, especially probably when you started, you probably didn't say that about yourself a lot, or uh, maybe maybe you did. But a lot of girls are like, I would never say I did amazing. Like that's crazy. Like that's way they're giving myself way too much credit. So just the fact that you said that, I'm like, yes. Megan gets it. <laughs> um, so what was like, what was your favorite part about the confident athlete? What was like your favorite piece? Cause there was a few different things going on. Definitely like the mindfulness part. Like um, I can't, like everything's kind of like meshing together with the COVID thing that like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, like our, our reviews when we do, we go through and we visualize and journal and just like, yeah but kind of get grounded and focused. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think those are really, really helpful for me because I'm a big thinker. Like I think a lot all the time. <laughs> and so <laughs> that like really helps like straighten out my thoughts yeah. and like focus on just me and what I'm feeling, which is really helpful. So, yeah. Okay, so if you had a teammate or a friend who was maybe struggling with some of the things that you were in the beginning, um and was maybe a little like scared or afraid to join something like this what would you tell her like what would advice would you give her um well my thing is like I don't want to like intrude when I like because like sometimes people can be a little defensive which is fine mm -hmm. um I mean I would just say to just give it a try because like if anything you can just decide not to do it decide it's not for you um because like I used to be like that too, where it's like, oh, I don't want to do something that no one else is doing because that's kind of weird. <laughs> but now it's like you're helping yourself. And if even if it doesn't work for you, you could gain a little bit of knowledge. It's not for helping you, helping other people. Um, so yeah, I just kind of mentioned that to them. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so good. So good. 